Okay, so we are now at chapter 9, okay, uh, doing sets and sequences. So, first question. Um, the first three patterns in a sequence are shown above, okay, so here are the patterns. And here we've got a table, it says copy and complete the table, okay, so uh, pattern 1 has got 5 dots, pattern 2 we can see 5 plus 3, uh, that's 8 dots, and then uh, pattern 3 we've got 8 dots plus 3, that's 11 dots, okay? <clears throat> so, um, basically, if I was to fill this table, okay, so it means um, so pattern number, okay, is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then number of dots, okay? First one's got five, and then I'm basically going to add three each time, okay? So it's going to be eight, eleven, and fourteen, okay? So, um, we've done part A. Find the formula for the number of dots D in the nth pattern, okay? Now, this is a very common uh, type of question, and basically, in order to answer this question, we need to find out what are we adding each time. And we can see it is plus 3 each time. Okay? So, um, the first thing we need to add to our formula is, we're going to say D, the number of dots, is equal to 3N. And this N basically stands, the N stands for the pattern number, and then D stands for the number of dots. And we put a 3 there first because that's how much we're adding each time uh, to the number of dots. However, we need to still add something to, to this formula. And the rule is, whatever you add each time, you need, to, you need to see how much of that particular number you need to add to get the, the number of dots for that pattern number. So for, for pattern number 1, we've got 5 dots, um, and then 3 is obviously 2 less than 5, so we need to add plus... 2, okay, to give our answer, so it becomes 3 plus 2 equals 5, and this is our final answer, okay? Next question, find the number of dots in the 60th pattern, okay? So, uh, D is going to be 3 times 60, okay, I'm going to just sub 60 for N, plus 2, and if you do that on your calculator or in your head, that would give you 182, okay? Right, part D it says, find the number of the pattern that has 89 dots. So this time, we're going to solve D for 89, and we're going to make N the subject. So that's 89 minus 2 divided by 3 gives us N. And if you did that in your head or calculator, you would get N is equal to 29. Okay? So that's that question. Now, question 2. Okay, basically, I'll just draw it for you. Basically, question two is like this, okay? So we've got patterns that look like this. Okay, this is pattern one, pattern two, pattern three is basically three dots, okay? And instead of um, a pattern number, we, in on the table, I'll show you here, okay, on the table, it has... Um, so we're here, it's got the number of dots, okay, as you can see here, one dot, two dots, three dots, and then the corresponding number of lines, okay? So, it says copy and complete the table for the number of dots and lines. So, <clears throat> we have at, for one dot, we have four lines, for two dots, we have seven lines, for three dots, we have ten lines, okay? And what is happening each time, well, basically, we're adding three each time, okay? So, um, the pattern, so basically, four is going to be uh, 13, and five is going to be 16, uh, six is going to be 19, okay? So, we've uh, finished the table there, um, and then what's the next thing? It says, how many lines are in, pa in the pattern with 99 dots, okay? And then, and then I'm actually going to answer part D as well, because it says how many lines are in the pattern with N dots, okay? So basically, part D is asking us to find the formula, okay? So, 
What I'm going to do here, I'm going to say D, the number of dots, which signifies the, uh, the pattern number, okay, is equal to, first of all, what's happening each time, we're plusing 3 each time. So my first bit of my equation is going to be uh, 3 times um, L, because that's the number of lines. Hang on, sorry. To get the number of lines, I'm going to use L here. I need 3 times D, because D is the pattern number. Then what do I do with the 3 each time? Um, how do I, sorry, how do I get from 3 to 4 for pattern number 1? Well, I add 1, okay? So this is my formula, okay? So let me go back to part C. Um, which says how many lines are in the pattern with 99 dots. Okay, so I'm going to say L is equal to 3 times 99 plus 1. Okay? And if you did that on your calculator, you would get 298. Okay? So, um, just to repeat, just uh, yes, just to repeat, D stands for the number of dots, which is this column, okay, and L stands for the number of lines, okay, and to get this formula, we see what we're we doing each time to the number of lines. Well, we're adding three, so we can say it's going to be three times D, which is the pattern number or dots in this case, and we see from three. What do we need to do to 3 to get to 4? Well, we plus 1, and this is our formula. Okay? Right. It says, Cop complete the following statement. There are 85 lines in the pattern with something dots. Okay, so this time, we're going to substitute 85 for L, and we're going to find out um, which pattern number. So how many dots? So 3, D, plus 1, so 85. Minus 1 divided by 3 gives us D. And if you solve that, D is equal to 28. Okay? Um, if you were then going to answer it fully, so there are 85, sorry, 85 lines in the pattern with... 28 dots. Okay? So, that's those two questions. Now, I'm just going to continue now with the second uh, set of questions okay, that you have in your textbook. So, the second set of questions basically it says, look at the sequence of numbers 7, 11, 15, and 19. Write down the next number in the sequence. So, let's see what's happening. Basically, what's happening here, we're plusing 4 each time. Okay? Plus 4, plus 4. Okay? So, uh, 19 plus 4 is 23. So that's the answer. So A, we've done the next uh, number in the sequence. Number B, or part B, sorry. Uh, find the tenth number in the sequence. And then C actually asks for write an expression in terms of n for the nth number in the sequence. Okay? So, in order to find what number, okay, uh, you'll have in the sequence where it's the nth number in the sequence. Basically, our formula is going to be this. So, it's going to be equal to what's happening each time. Plus 4, plus 4. It's going to be 4n. And how do we get from 4 to 7? Well, we plus uh, 3. Okay, so our answer here is 4n plus 3 for C. And then to answer B, find the tenth number in the sequence. Well, I'm just going to substitute 10 into uh, as n, sorry. 4 times 10 plus 3 gives me. 43. Okay, so that's my answer to, to that one.